ಮಾಧುರಿ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬಲಗಂಗಾಧರ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಹುಲಿಮಾಹು ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಐ ಪಾಸ್ ಮೈ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಫ್ಲೈಂಗ್ ಕಲರ್ಸ್ ನಾವ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಕೊರೋನಾ ವೈರಸ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ಲಾಕ್ಡ್ ಎಟ್ ಹೋಮ್ ರೈಟ್ ಬೋತ್ ಮೈ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ರೂಮ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಗೆಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಐ ಡಿ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಹೌ ಟು ಪಾಸ್ ಮೈ ಟೈಮ್ ದೆನ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಐ ಇಮೇಲ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೈ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದೇ ಹವ್ ಅಪ್ಲೋಡೆಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಪೇಪರ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಕಮ್ ಕಮ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಶೋ ಯು we have english maths science hindi kannada social science computer science physical education my favorite art then general knowledge do you know why i like to solve these papers i like to solve these papers because they are very interesting they have interesting sums puzzles riddles many more one of my favorite puzzle is spell a six letter word using the clues below you can find captain jack sparrow do you know the answer i know the answer the answer is pirate thanks all my teachers and my school who given this practice papers for us to do at home which we had to find the word that related to all of them so the first question was actually we had to find the associate word of cottage swiss and cake after thinking a lot i thought it would be cheese i i think my answer should be correct after that there was a word crossword which i liked a lot there were many fun puzzles also so there are some fun experiments which i will also try today so i would like to thank my teachers the school management for giving us this wonderful initiative and thinking about us so let's stay at home stay safe and let's win over covid 19 thank you my name is purti i am from vijay sanjeev i am going to fifth standard today i am going to do an a easy activity so to do this activity you need a candy a matchbox some uh, some lemon juice a uh, yogurt and a plain piece of paper so first uh, we take the paper take a yogurt and dip it dip it nicely to the lemon juice and then we can we should write uh, in a secret message of what whatever you want then we have to wait for it to dry now you cannot see the uh, secret me- uh, message which i have written in the paper i have let the candle here now i'm going to hold the paper on top of the uh, candle so that a uh, little bit heat will come to the paper it should be moving so all the letters can be seen uh is my script, this is my secret message which i have 
students today i'm going to show an experiment on why we brush our teeth so here uh, the required materials are some haldi um toothpaste extended material uh, detergent and a brush to spread a uh, waste white cloth so first step one i'm using some haldi i'm dipping the brush into it and putting it on the shirt so i'm spreading it and you take some toothpaste dip it and put it on top so here you see there's a mild change there's a color change it has become red that's because haldi is acting as indicator here and uh, the toothpaste is a base so it contains base so um, when we wake up in the morning our uh, mouth contains acid and bacteria so when we apply the paste in our mouth it the it gets neutralized and the uh, acids effect change so here we are going to um, uh, use the detergent as another uh, replacement of the toothpaste so i'm going to use the same procedure Here you see the color has changed more. That's because the detergent contains a stronger base. So hope you understood this experiment. Why we brush our teeth and try it at home. Thank you. The time. Betty wants some butter, but butter was better. Betty wants some better butter to make the better butter better. Betty wants some butter, but the butter was better. So Betty wants some better butter to make the better butter better. So this is how I'm spending my time in the lockdown, and I really thank my teachers for sending these wonderful activities and worksheets for me to spend my time. And this is Veda uh, from seventh class seven, Vijay and Pierce signing off. Stay safe, stay healthy. Bye. Good morning. I am Nandana Nair, and on the basis of the worksheets which have been provided, I'll be solving the first question from subject mathematics from worksheet three. So the question is: Put four coins on a table in a row, all tails up. Turn any three coins over. This counts as one move. How many moves will it take to get all the coins on heads? So let me try. So with four moves, we can flip the coins to face face.